if you have a problem with movement, if you have issues with big joints like your hips and your knees and feet, you definitely have atrophy. Same is true with your shoulder. And here's the reason why, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shakib from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center. I am going to talk about atrophy. And so, you understand atrophy does not have to do necessarily with a nerve issue. You can have an atrophy in a muscle, any muscle in your body, if you do not use it. A misuse or abuse of any muscle can lead to atrophy or hypertrophy. Hypertrophy means the muscle is too hypertonic to contract it and atrophy is when it's just not being used. So both cases create weakness because the one that's continuously um, uh, hypertonic, it becomes exhausted. As a result of exhaustion, it gets weak. A muscle that is bypassed because, through, because of many things, I'm not gonna get into it in this video, it becomes weak because it's not being used when it's not being used it becomes it starts having atrophy in that muscle so in any movement issues dysfunctional movement over time you will have atrophy of specific muscles that are engaged in that movement I said this to one of my patients and she freaked out because she thought oh my god what's going on and the reality is it does not have to be a severed nerve to cause atrophy of your musculature. So start looking more in depth into the movement, functional movement, dysfunctional movement. If you're having issues with joints, with muscles, with movement, and with athletic performance. If you like the video you just watched and you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel and make sure you click on notification so every time i post which is once a week you actually get to be notified and watch the videos if you have any questions or need to be seen at the office use one of the methods of contact in the description box to contact me until next time take care